we first saw the fire when we got to the Walgett Road roundabout near the Purbeck School and saw plumes of smoke coming up. At that point we knew it was massive. On arrival at the scene, we were met with a forest fire that I've never seen before. It was massive. forest fire last May was the worst one I've ever been to in 37 years. It was faster, grew stronger and quicker than any fire I had known in that time. That first day of the forest fire when we rolled in at half 12, little did we guess we'd still be there at half 10 that night, then still be there for two weeks after that, chasing the fire relentlessly day and night for those two weeks is the worst fire I've ever dealt with. On that first day it was exhausting. Everybody on that fire went above and beyond what was expected of them on that day. It was proud to be part of the Wareham crew. When we arrived, it was one of the fiercest fires I'd ever seen. I saw a huge wall of smoke and flames. We hopped off, we got as much hose reel out as we could, and some of us grabbed beaters. It was the hardest work I'd ever done. While I was fighting the fire, I saw deer fleeing and birds flying away. Unfortunately, over the next couple of days, we found more and more animals that had been consumed by the fire. Snakes, lizards, deer, and even a rare Dartford warbler's nest, complete with eggs that had been destroyed by the fire. In light of this devastation and destruction, the local community came together, and we at Wareham Fire Station were amazed by how generous the local people and businesses were. They supplied us with things like sweets, cakes, drinks, and other comfort items that kept our morale up as we continued to fight the fire. Things are on the men one year on at Wareham Forest, but very gradually. Species like the woodlark, a rare heathland forest bird that loves newly created bare ground, are doing well, but the reptiles will take a lot longer, as will the overall flora and fauna. Purple moorland grass and bracken will create the illusion of a green and pleasant land, however the more valuable habitats will take decades to resume their rightful place. So why not leave your barbecue at home and take a picnic? And do your bit please and remember to like and share this video.